New video in now from Ukraine of Ukrainian forces assessing the damage around one city. Their forces are continuing to brace for more attacks from Russian troops. Ann Makovic joins us now from the live news desk with the latest. And Ann, there's international outrage about the brutality of these attacks. Yeah, some of the images just stunning. They continue to be disturbing in week three of this war. It seems like it's only getting worse. The UN Security Council is meeting today to talk about the war as emotions become even stronger from some of the NATO allies that are trying to head off these attacks. Taking a live look at the capital city of Kyiv right now. Diplomats from Ukraine and Russia are still talking. They've reported some progress, but invading forces are inching closer to the capital with intensified fighting on its outskirts. We got this new video in this morning from Kyiv. Firefighters rescuing people from this apartment building after it was hit by a missile. At least one person was killed there. Russia says this is part of its mission to destroy Ukraine's military capabilities and capture what it calls dangerous nationalists. Also, the possibility of a new offensive from the sea this morning. These new photos from Japanese authorities of Russian warships on the move. This is in the Strait of Japan, possibly transporting troops and combat vehicles to Ukraine. We also just got this new info on this attack. Ukrainian authorities say survivors are now emerging from the rubble of this theater they were sheltering in after it was bombed by Russian forces yesterday. Ukraine's defense minister calling that attack, uh, the Russian pilot who instigated it, a, quote, monster. Apparently there was a satellite image before the attack showing the words children in Russian lettering written outside. Taking a live look at the White House now. President Biden, we're hearing, will speak with China's president tomorrow about Russia's invasion in Ukraine. China's position on all this has been a little bit unclear. That is, as President Biden continues to plan his trip to Brussels next week. And right now, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is in Europe. He is meeting with NATO counterparts there. We're going to keep our eye on all of it. Back to you.